Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shah, Basham Rakakwadash. And the true name for the Heavenly Father, according to the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh, who this more eagerly calls God. And the true name for his only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, who this more eagerly calls Jesus Christ, Bahasham in the name, and Rakakwadash is through the Holy Spirit. Also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. I am your fellow servant, your water dog, coming from the great millstone, West Palm Beach Camp, and Lord willing, this lesson is edified. I got this clip here uh, I want to play, and I got a few precepts, and uh, Lord willing, again, uh, this uh, lesson is edified. President Trump, oh, man. One thing, one thing I want to say. And uh, this is a New York rapper, Slakia. This is a New York rapper, a New York rapper named Chef G, who's just been uh, recently released from prison from, I believe, uh, racketeering charges. And he's up there with the former president, Donald Trump. All right. So listen to what they got to say. One thing I want to say. And it's the last time of me pausing it, man. Hey, these are niggas, man. Okay? Complete niggas. All right? It's a lot. I just wanted to state that, man. Always going to whisper your accomplishments and shout your failures. Trump going to shout the wins for all of us. Make America great again. Appreciate you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Okay, so Donald Trump, you know, has to be, you know, he's, you know, he's a smart individual, man. Uses uh, rappers, entertainers to draw in the uh, urban community. Okay, and due to uh, the current president, Joe Biden, you know, not really, you know, quote unquote, doing a good job. You know, these people cannot wait, you know, for a new president. All right. They can't wait for change. They can't wait for something new. All right. And the easiest way to do that is to, you know, use these different entertainers and rappers, you know, to draw in, especially the, the younger community. OK, so I got this report here. Um, and this is from Vanity Fair. And it says Trump wants to bring back hangings and firing squads in his second term. Is thinking about guillotines, too. All right. And what is a guillotine? Let's see if we can get a picture. Perfect. Hey, this is a guillotine right here. So this is what Trump is thinking about bringing back, you know, for his term. So, hey, these Israelites don't understand. All right, but that's why, what does it say in the book of Jeremiah? Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. And it says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sought as children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good. They have no knowledge. See, so that's speaking about Israelites, two thirds of them. You know, they have none understanding. All right. They don't understand what they doing. Let's go to the book of Hosea. Okay, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, and they're destroyed for lack of knowledge. It says, because they have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, 
I will also forget thy children. Okay? So, hey, Jake is destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. They don't understand what they're voting for. They don't understand what, you know, they're ultimately doing, you know, and the voting system was now set for Jake, okay? What is Isaiah? Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter... Isaiah chapter 31. And it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay? And that's what Jake is doing. They're going down to Egypt. And we understand the modern day Egypt is America. So they're going down to Egypt for help. And it says... And stay on horses, meaning, you know, the government, and trust in chariots because there are many. So not only do they go down uh, to Babylon, and uh, as known as America for help, but they trust in the government. They trust in the voting system. They trust in all these different things. Okay. And it says, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. You see, so our people do everything but trusting in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. All right. And it says, uh, yet will he, it says, yet he also is wise, and he will bring evil, and will not call back his words. But will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity, right? Because there's going to be a punishment for this. Jake don't understand that Nero, a.k.a. Trump, you know, you know, I believe he will get elected and he's going to win. That's going to bring, you know, the end of the, the end of uh, all ends through the spirit, man. OK, I'm speaking as a man. Verse three. It says, now the Egyptians are men and not the most high and their horses flesh and not the spirit. And it says, and when the heavenly father, Yahweh shall stretch forth, shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall and he that hoping shall fall down. They shall all, they shall all fail together. See, and that's the, that's really the end of Babylon. I mean, it's like it. That's really the um, uh, the outcome of Babylon. You know, uh, what does it say in uh, not only Jeremiah, but in Revelation? It says Babylon is fallen. It is fallen. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You know, Jake don't understand what they're seeing before their eyes is the end of an empire, an end of a rulership, all right, it doesn't matter what they do, who they vote for, you know, the end has been prophesied since the beginning, uh, pursuing a revel uh, second Ezra, the ninth chapter, okay, um, let's also get the book of Romans, see, see, because what happened to ancient Egypt is going to happen until America, that's what these Israelites don't understand. So there's the book of Romans chapter nine, verse 17. And it says, for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh. And who is the modern day Pharaoh? You know, the modern day Pharaoh is, you know, those that are in these high positions in the government. And it says, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up? See, so the heavenly father has put, you know, um, Back in the uh, back in the time of uh, Exodus, when we were in captivity under the Egyptians, hey, the Heavenly Father raised Pharaoh up, just like how you see in this time. The Heavenly Father has raised Esau up, because the modern day Pharaoh is Esau. All right, and it says, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. That I that I, it says, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I that I might shew my power in thee. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth, you see. So the Heavenly Father ultimately raised Esau up so his power could be declared throughout the earth. Just like how he did Pharaoh. 
you know, raise Pharaoh up just to bring him down, to harden his heart so his power could be magnified throughout all the earth. All right. Even uh, the harlot Rahab speaks about that. Uh, the harlot Rahab, you know, says we have heard of your God, Yahweh. All right. Who this world ignorantly calls God. We have heard of your your power. All right. And what he has done unto the Egyptians. OK, so hey, the same thing is going to happen. And these Israelites are going to be caught in the cross uh, in the crossfire. OK, uh, let's see if I can pull it back up one more time. Let's see. President. Uh, this, we already look. Oh, man, look, <laughs> look at what the comments and this is exactly right, man, you know. Just looking like coons, man. Okay, it says, I think we are living in the boondocks episode because nobody takes this thing seriously. All right. Look at this. It says, Donald Trump coming to save America in 2024. See, that's the mindset. They putting this man on a pedestal. Trump, please save America. Thank you. Trump the legend. It says, legendary meetup. America is saved. This dude said, oh, they voting. All right. Trump 24. Trump won. No point of doing the election. You see? So these Israelites don't understand. But we understand that. Hey, man. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, is only dealing with a few. That's why when you go to the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter, he's only dealing with a remnant. He's not dealing with all of his people because uh, sometimes you have to, hey, sometimes you got to cut a finger to save your hand, you know? Or, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to cut off, you know, the rotten and dead flesh, you know, and the Heavenly Father has to do away with two thirds of his own people, you know. So this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 20. And it says, and, I sh and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, you see the remnant and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more stay upon him that smote him. And who has smote Jake, man? You know, these heathens beginning with Esau, Edom, you know, and it says, uh, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. So hey, we're in that time now where hey, we're not leaning upon the government. We're not leaning upon this system. No, we are leaning upon Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 11. Okay. Uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 5. This is the point. And it says, even... Even so, then at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So there is a remnant, a few. OK, let's read the NLT. It is this. It is the same today for a few of the people of Israel have remained faithful because of the because of the most high's grace. His undeserved kindness in choosing them. You all right. And I'm trying to see. Is there any more precepts, man? So I'm trying to, you know, let's see if we got everything. I believe that's it, man. Uh, let's go back to that article because they don't understand that a neuro, which is Donald Trump through the spirit, if you can receive it. Um, and he's coming to bring, you know, he's coming to bring back violence. He's coming to bring back, you know. Go to read this story for free, so you can't even read this story. You know, he's coming to bring back something that you have never seen before. It says Donald Trump is a disturbed individual with a strong penchant for violence. The biggest supporting evidence of this would would obviously be his incitement of a bloody insurrection that left multiple people dead. Because he couldn't handle losing the 2020 election. All right. So 
again, this is from Vanity Fair. You can look up, you can read it if you want. And I believe it right there. So, a hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Until the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, or And double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone, whatever well. Peace and blessing to the elect. Till next time, Shalom, Baba Ba, Korbash Allah, Shalom.